hello fellas. Hey, this is my 283rd video on YouTube, and unfortunately, I believe it's going to be my last one. Uh, my health issues just uh, won't let me continue it. Uh, I've had some pretty catastrophic things happen to me over the last three years, and they've all just accumulated, and it's got me where. You know, I just can't. I just can't do this much anymore. Can't stand for over about 10 minutes at a time, and I got to sit down for 20. So, and I've tried, you know, uh, sit on a stool and turning and so forth, and it just doesn't work for me. I can do the polishing and sanding, sitting down, but I can't do the turning. Uh, you know, I probably could if I tried and had a little higher stool. But anyhow, uh, I decided that it's just not. Uh, well, it's just not worth it. My last video, which was two months ago, uh, got a whole whopping 700 views, which is ridiculous. So it's, it's never been about the money. I started off wanting to be just, uh, you know, show people different ways of doing things and easy ways, and I wanted to, I wanted everything to be like uh, talking to the layman, nothing technical whatsoever, and just showing, you know, tricks and tricks and you know methods I've learned over the years of turning and I think I accomplished a lot of that but uh, over the last three years I've had my gosh I don't know had a broken ankle had shingles uh, had a broken pelvis uh, the shingles left me with uh, uh, very damaged nerves in my left shoulder and, you know it was just one thing after another plus I am 80 years old so Actually, I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I still, I still got brown hair. Look at there, will you? Anyway, look at here. This, this is, this is the last one. <laughs> it's been on the lace for two, two months, believe it or not. And it started off with just a piece of cedar, and I, I put a captured ring on it, and it even had an inlay in it. I think I've got part of it here. Yeah, here's, here's part of it right here. Uh, left over. You see it went like just like this and that's a stone inlay. It's sort of pretty but I didn't like it so I broke it off. It was too big and uh, I just didn't like it. That's the way I am. If I don't like something I change it. But I think you'll like this. This has absolutely without a doubt the best finish I've ever gotten on something. That right there I mean that is beyond baby butt smooth. And shiny, look at there. I mean, look at that shine. And that is a product of Men Wax Sanding Sealer, uh, Wipe On Poly, and a lot of Axe Paste and Polish. I detail it later on in the video, and I, I will show you how I did it. And I'll try not to cut very much of it out. But you know how this editing goes. If, it, if the truth be known, it's the editing really is what's making me not do this no more. It's just, you know, it takes a day, it takes a whole day sitting at that computer to edit a video to make it presentable. And, and then you still have things wrong with it. So I just, uh, it's just not worth it to me anymore. Now I'm going to continue to turn, but it'll probably be slow. And I just might accidentally do a video later on if I come across something I think is really going to be neat I'll, I'll pull the old camera out and, and do it. But in the meantime, I want to get on and show you how I did this, and then I'll have a, a brief word to say at the end of it. Probably be in the same shirt and stuff, because I'm going to make it right now. <laughs> okay, you guys take it easy. And uh, hey, uh, stay in touch with me a little bit, will you? I, you know, I, I, watch, uh, I watch you guys on YouTube, the ones that do YouTube, but the rest of you don't do it. Just, just give me a note once in a while. I'd appreciate that. So, uh, let's roll. Okay, well, anyway, I found this. This is a piece of cedar. And it's, uh, hmm, 10 by 7 is what it is. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's all turned and finished. And I have absolutely no idea well, when I did it, or why I did it, or why I didn't finish it, or nothing. I mean, it's even got a um, tenon here 
with dovetails. Now they need cleaning out, and, and I'm not sure if we've got any warpage going on or not. It's all set up for a, a end to end. So, uh, you know, I can put it on there and turn it and get this cleaned up. I tried, I tried to chuck on it and it was a little bit on the, this is, is too big, the tin is too big. Got a big gap between my jaws. So I'm, I'm gonna put this on between centers and, and get this cleaned up, help me. So let's put it on here. And we're gonna bring it up to here. can't turn from here. So I'd, I'd be like this, you know, but, but I can do like sanding and finishing and stuff sitting down, so that's going to help a lot. So let's get this thing tightened down. And uh, there you go. It's in a groove. Tighten that down, tighten this down. There you go. All right. Time to see if it's uh, wobbling. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. Looks pretty good. Could be just a hair smaller, but I think that's okay. Well, I was figuring, trying to figure out a good way to attach this thing. I thought about a face plate and then about the holes. And uh, on the other end, I have the uh, tenon with the dovetails. But I sort of, I don't know, I just sort of wasn't quite happy with none of that. So I was digging around and I got a box down there of cut off crap, you know, like everybody does. And I was digging around in it because I was going to make me a glue block. And I found this one down in there. And it had been used at one time because it had, you know, old glue on the other side. But it's tapped. Tapped for one and a quarter ATPI. Now, how the blank that ever happened, I don't know. Because the best I can remember was a guaranteeing very much. I do not own a one and a quarter inch ATPI tap. Well, I have absolutely no idea how it happened unless I used this and, and forced it here. But I don't remember. I just don't. So I'm going to give this a eh, little while, probably 10 or 15 minutes, 
and uh, you're gonna put it on here and plug up the other end and figure out what we're gonna make. Catch you in a little while. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start coming in here and here and leave the center about this because I want a big ring. Maybe not that big, I don't know. I'm, I may, may take it down a little more. In fact, I think I will. It'd be, it'd be an awful big ring, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think I'll take it down some more. Let me find all my paraphernalia you here. Even though I end up getting rid of the ring in the end, I am going to show a little bit of the how to, uh, okay. just in case somebody wants to do a captured ring. It's sort of a unique process. You don't really have to have a special tool, but it's sort of fun to make. We'll turn that on. Groove you see is, is for an inlay of stone that's going to be in the, in the ring. Uh, this ended up being a monumental mistake, but you know that's how you learn. I learned not to do it again. That's for sure. All right. All right. I got them all in there. Uh, a little rough looking right now. Hopefully tomorrow I will be able to turn some of them off and uh, polish it, see what it looks like. But I've changed my mind. <laughs> I ain't putting no more of them on a rim like this. It's just keeping control of that CA glue and, and you know, having to spray them with accelerator. Which I don't really like spraying uh, with accelerator, but you have to here or it'll be all on the floor. But you see, it's sort of like, makes it look like it's got a cooktop or something. I've got the outside, well, this part all done. It'll be uh, getting the stem done in the ring. I'll be, get that done. When I get the inside done, all right, I'm getting ready to hollow it out. But first, you know, ship, this is a, a Jacob's chuck, and that's a, an old drill bit cut off. And I made this sort of a safety tool going here right there and you've got a live center and I, I still can do most of my hollowing here but I noticed that this developed a little bit of a wobble so that's got me concerned so uh, let me get set up here and we'll commence I don't see any break in the glue back here so I don't know what's going on shouldn't have started wobbling but it did alright I'll catch you in a minute here in about a grand
that actually looks pretty good in there. Might be a little thicker than what I want, but it's got a few little places there I'm afraid it's going to crack. So I think that'll be just fine. All I got to do is get it cleaned up. Probably try to use the uh, uh, negative rake scraper in there a little bit. When I come back, taking a break. Okay. Well, uh, pretty much finished the inside. I'm not going to do any more to it until I get this ring cut loose. Okay, I'm going to uh, come in here with a round cutter on each side of the ring and just make it thinner before I try to cut it loose. guys already cut through a little bit right there it's beginning to come through see be back in a minute There's a couple more turns and that might have come off huh all right I'm gonna try to cut this thing loose this is a where to go this is a tool I made out of a scraper uh, last time I did a capture ring which is really the only time it's, uh, as you can see, it's sharp on both sides. And the idea is to come in here like this. Okay, on both sides. This is the scary part. Well, here goes nothing, guys. Unfortunately, the battery on my camera died and I didn't even know it. So I filmed the whole thing or filmed video. I don't know why people say film. We don't do that anymore. So anyway, I videoed the uh, whole thing about getting the ring off and I didn't. <laughs> so anyway, here it is. I'm in the process now of putting the finish on it. it uh, I've got this tape back. I'll put a little more tape on it. Hey there, it's been a couple of days, that's the way it goes. I'm going to have my ablation on my spine done next week, so maybe things will get better. Anyway, here we are. And what I'm doing, well first let me back up. This, this is not as deep as I want it. And the reason I quit doing it before because I was just afraid I might break the stem off. 
you know, this is this is cedar, so it's pretty brittle. But you know, it just ain't finished. Because if you take come in here now, you take and check this right here, you're uh, damn near two inches thick right there. Yeah, about the, about the same. So, you know, I need to get about an inch out of there at least. And the way I'm going to do it is, is see, this is my Jacob's chuck with a, a drill bit, cut off drill bit in it, just for safety. And it gives me a little push in that direction. I'm going to come in here with this square cutter and see if I can't, you know, get it a little deeper. And then remove this and get the All right. Well, I cut I cut the sound out because I wanted to uh, tell you what we're going to do right now. Uh, I said I would just go to you know how to how to do the ring, and that's what we've done. So now you know I'm cutting the I'm going to cut the bottom out and finish that. And then I'll jump to sanding and then finishing. So we're going to go right straight to to the finishing uh, for a couple reasons. I, I really wanted to highlight it, and the other one is that this. This video is getting pretty long, and uh, it's been my experience. Anything over 30 minutes is most people won't watch it. So let's let's do that, and uh, we'll do a little bit of this right down here, and moving on. See you later. Bust it off of there. I'll leave it on for a little bit. All right, give that about 15 minutes. I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna start axe pasting it. And then you're gonna see a shine. Okay, I'm going to uh, very lightly hit this with some steel wool. <clears throat> and the finest I got. I got it. And all I'm trying to do here now is to knock down the Book bears. Like if I got a piece of dust sticking in there or something. You know, axe sanding paste. Right here. It's got a little bit of grit in it. I think it's Tripoli. It's called. And um, you know, paste with carnauba wax and see what well, beeswax, mineral oil, Tripoli. And something else I cannot read. Anyway, here's a little piece of old whatever. So I'm gonna smear this thing down best I can. I got a, I got a new one. I may have to open it up. Of course, this being my last YouTube video. My sponsors, they're going to go elsewhere, which, you know, that's the way it is. Now I'm putting some pressure here because I want to generate some heat. going to use a microcloth here now. When you do this, be extremely careful. Make sure make sure you hold it so that if something grabs it, it can be jerked out and you don't like get your fingers like that or nothing, okay? Let's see what we got. Now I can sit for a second. Ooh, bitchy. Oh yeah, look at here. Mm -hmm. See, the difference now is that that is really smooth. 
That is beautiful, my friends. Inside and out. And I hadn't even put any wax on it yet. It says paste, but it's a wax is what it is. All this restoring wax, they should have put wax. Tom, you know better. Okay. Put a little bit of this on it. It's a preservative as much as anything. And the only downside I've ever seen and it's very preventable. Is that sometimes when you get done, this will like fingerprint or something. But all you gotta do is wipe it down with a microcloth like I just did, and that solves that problem. Because that gets all any residual wax off of it. You know, they didn't get polished. And let's just turn this up real slow here. Make sure I got plenty of wax on it. Yeah, I gotta go sit down in a real chair for here a second. I'll get this on here and let it be sitting up. I don't know if it needs to or not. I never do, but I don't think I got any choice right now. Then I'm gonna wrap this thing up today if it kills me. And it might. Uh, You saw I took the ring off. Didn't like it. Didn't like it from the beginning, so I got rid of it. But I, I just, uh, I still can't get over this. I mean, you just not, you, I can't see where this can be achieved any other way than the way I did it. It's absolutely blanking amazing right here. I mean, you just can't. It's a uh, Minwax Sand and Sealer, Poly Wipe On, Axe Sand and Paste, Axe Sand and Polish, and that's what you got. I've been doing it this way for, for years. I tried that water look stuff. It don't hold a candle to that. So I'm going to steal all this right here lightly and then get the Axe Paste after it. Just a little bit right here. I need to go turn on my air so I can blow any dust off. And this was, I know you know. There you go. Axe sanding, axe abrasive sanding paste. Now you guys that ain't got some of this need to buy you some. They got a website. Uh, you read on any of these? Uh, no, but you can find them just by looking up Axe Paste. Uh, but it's just it's just a man and his wife in a house somewhere in Pennsylvania, and they make it and they sell it, and it's a damn good product. Do me a favor. Go check it out because they got small sizes, so you don't have to commit. And if you use it like I showed you how to use it, this is what you'll get. Trust me, there it is. Proof of the pudding, my friends. Proof of the pudding. Isn't that what they say? Okay. Let's do this. Now I gotta cut this thing off. Sand the bottom. There, get it. Okay, we should except for doing the bottom be done with the paste. Okay, there you are, guys. Well, I hope you liked it. Probably wasn't my best, but it probably wasn't my worst either. Anyhow, uh, I just wanted to uh, to thank uh, my sponsors. I haven't been dealing with Total Boat for quite a while because I basically uh, quit doing very many epoxy bowls and my viewership dropped off quite a bit after I started having all those accidents. And that naturally, I mean, that's the whole idea is advertising. I'm advertising for them. And if I'm not getting views, I'm not advertising. So they, they sort of quit dealing with me a while back. They never just said, you know, we're quit dealing. They just made it a little more difficult for me to get supplies. But 
that's all right. So we got uh, Starbond. Starbond has been absolutely great. They have a super product at a super price. Uh, you may think it's a little bit higher, but when you get the package, you'll find out that you know you just don't have your just your your bottle of, of super glue. You've got extra extra tips and all kinds of stuff in there, and uh, and it's, it's really good stuff. I've used a ton of it, guys. I mean, I have used a ton of it because I'm a crack fixer. I don't like making things in, um, you know, what some people call the natural state. I, I want them fixed, so I use a lot of CA glue and, and sawdust and so forth. But the one that, the, the sponsor that I really, you know, I, I ended up with a personal relationship with these folks because they're sort of like me, you know, they're a little bit on the elderly side and it's just a couple making axe paste in their house. And they, they make one hell of a product, I'm telling you. This is a result of Axe Paste, and I don't think I could have done it without it. It is absolutely, I mean, I wish you could touch it. I just do. I wish you could touch it. I mean, it's just, I can't set it down. It's so smooth. I mean, unbelievably smooth and, and shiny. Uh, my wife even likes it, and that says something. But anyway, one last time, guys, call your mama, and I will catch you on the rebound. Bye-bye.